The fourth cornerstone of the four-year career is the residual nature and resulting asset value of your income. This is the most valuable and exciting part of the four-year career. Built right, with the right products and the right company, you can expect your income to far outlast your personal efforts. This means you keep earning it regardless of whether you're still building it, managing it, or actively leading the sales force. Let's look first at what is the right way to build it so it will last virtually forever. The build it right principles. First is leadership. Your leadership and your ability to inspire others to become sales leaders will be the most important component of how long your income will last. Your leadership greatness will be judged by how you inspire others to grow personally, how you challenge them to overcome their fears and break through to extraordinary new lives. Your leadership will be judged on how many powerful relationships you build with others, relationships that can withstand the many adversities that any business will encounter. Products is next. If they are fad products or technology products, they are not likely to be in demand 10 to 50 years from now. Fads are just that, fads that will eventually lose their appeal. Technology products become outdated or commonplace within three to five years of being invented. The most important criteria for the products you sell is do you love them? Can you recommend them authentically? And would you use them as a customer even if you weren't a distributor? Third is the company you keep. If you want to be paid your residual income forever, you'll want to build in a company that honors the MLM way of life and wealth building as its core values. A company whose owners have demonstrated, not promised, but proven to be committed to a very long-term business plan where the residual income and wealth building of sales leaders is the most important objective. Now let me show and tell you why and how, when you build it right, it not only should be pure, rock-solid, residual, forever income your grandkids can rely on, but it could and should actually continue to grow at an extraordinary rate. To see this, we need to revisit the diagram of you sponsoring four, who each sponsor four for 16, who each sponsor four for 64, who each sponsor four for 256. Here we show four generations of your actively building sales leaders, each who are using and recommending the products and sponsoring others. The most impactful piece of math and logic that leads you to know your group is built right and should grow is to look at the sources of your income. Look at those sources by generation. Let's first look at you. Regardless of how much product you are personally selling, the income you earn from sales pales in comparison to what you will earn in royalties from your entire group. That's why it doesn't matter how much you sell. It just matters that you sell. Let's look at your first generation. Four sales leaders selling, let's say, $200 a month each equals $800 total times about a 10% commission. Your first generation leaders earning you $80 a month. Your second generation of 16 sales leaders times $200 each earns you $320. And your third level of 64 sales leaders earns you $1,280 and so on. Of the 320 sales leaders in your group, which generation earns you the bulk of your income? Correct, your fourth generation. The 256 sales leaders doing $200 a month each, producing $51,200 in sales, and earning you $5,120 of your $6,800 a month total, or 75% of the total. Now look closely at the diagram. How many sales leaders do each of the 256 sales leaders at your fourth generation have? How many are shown in the diagram? If you astutely said none, zero, zip, and zippo, you are correct. The diagram shows that none of them have yet to sponsor any sales leaders. If they had, there would be a fifth generation shown. And although it may take years for your fifth generation to fill in, when it does, how many sales leaders could you have in your fifth generation if and when they each get their four? Right? 1,024 for a total team of 1,364 people. You can do the math and figure out what happens to your income as your fifth generation fills in. Remember, these 256 with no sales leaders of their own yet belong to the 64 on your third generation. These 256 are their best of the best. 
These 256 will spend most of their empire building energies on finding their own four. And as they do, you have a runaway train of geometric progressions building your empire even bigger. The point is that in order for your income to qualify as residual, it only needs to stay stable or flat. The question of whether or not it will be residual is not even the appropriate question. The real question is, how fast will it grow and how big can it get?